Hello there guys, it's Stephen here, um, and I'm making a video today that I didn't ever really want to have to make, but um, I feel like I really kind of have to, given the comment section and so on. Um, I've had all these comments here, and that was just from the Monaco video. I've had loads of comments on Twitter, loads of DMs, loads of comments on other videos. And in general, I think it needs to be discussed myself and Blue Moon Rising TV. Um, I can't speak for everyone involved in that, so I can only really offer you my side. What I will say straight off the bat is I understand why people have been missing it. And I understand why people want to hear about it, because I do as well. I miss Blue Moon Rising TV personally. But it's been a very complicated story. And what prompted me to make this video um, was the fact that a few people got a little bit... Um, aggressive as such but people got frustrated and started to point fingers at certain individuals like myself for example saying like, why are you letting the channel die and all this kind of stuff presuming that we were doing it by selfish choice of course it isn't as simple as that because uh, <laughs> I love playing Horizon TV all of us do but to kind of explain it all I need to explain the bigger picture in general if you didn't already know Blue Horizon TV was my full-time job it was um, a hobby of so in terms of I love doing it, but it was actually my full-time job. I came on board in Bloom Horizon TV in March 2016. It was an actual, uh, it was a position there available because Adam left to work for Manchester City. They needed someone else. I'd already been on the channel before, but this video here, when I was talking about youth, look how young I looked back then. <laughs> uh, in September, it went really well. I spoke to them uh, and they said, come and, come and do some stuff at Bloom Horizon TV full-time. And it was amazing. There was only two of us full-time, myself and Paul. Uh, and it was the best near year of my life, if I'm being totally honest. I loved it. I got to work with some great people, go to some great places, make videos every day talking about football from Manchester City. I absolutely loved it. Why would I not? Uh, and I was just a fan with no previous experience in that kind of role. Um, it was incredible, but it was funded by a person, the people who own the Football Republic. Um, so we were part of a network of channels. Now, eventually, one day, it's no one's fault, that kind of money just stopped coming in that was it now that left myself and um, paul without a job um i was gutted i was genuinely gutted but basically one of my dream jobs it was no one's fault sometimes things just happen sometimes people just can't afford to pay for something anymore S -s -s stuff happens and as a result that left me without a job and it left uh, the channel producer paul he is a great friend of mine he's one of the he's genuinely top local if you're watching this paul I uh, hope you don't mind me saying this, but he's obviously gone, moved on as well now, and I'm still looking for new work. Um, and that was the core identity of Bloom Horizon, hence why the videos had dropped down recently. It's difficult as an individual to sit here and not be gutted about Bloom Horizon TV, because uh, it obviously, it's not my job anymore. I am not involved anymore. If you're wondering why I'm not involved, this principle really, when you get paid to do something, you're not then going to do it for free. I did mention this in a video, in a Q&A a couple of months back, but obviously a lot of people missed that. But yeah, I'm not going to work for free uh, doing what I used to do to get paid. That's just principle. I also don't own any of the content for Blue Horizon TV. It's owned by the parent company. I could never earn anything from that potentially. I could never get anything back uh, from it. So they would have a peak a limit of where I could actually go. Whereas this channel, my own channel, this is my channel. I own it. I own the content of it. I can do whatever I want there. And I'm not just doing free work for people who used to employ me but then let me go. If that makes sense. I don't think anyone would do free work for someone. I did a couple of videos initially. Um, but I'd rather concentrate on growing my own personal channel. Because this is what means the most to me. Speaking to you lot here. Doing videos about what I want to do videos about. Uh, and not just being Bloom Rising TV. I don't want to just be that personally. Um, Bloom Rising TV, I, I don't want to speak for them personally because it's not me anymore. But uh, they will carry on doing stuff. I'm more certain they'll do different stuff to what I'll do. I will never do fan cams because I'm not that kind of channel. I don't want to be that kind of channel. I'm sorry if anyone wants me to. Alex does that 10 times better than me because he's better at that kind of stuff. And Alex is still going to be involved over there. Um, it's just, I won't be, unfortunately. And obviously, without uh, someone like Paul, he was the whiz behind all the graphics as if i said the word whiz <laughs> he was the guy behind all the graphics and all that kind of stuff and that takes a lot of work to do it takes a lot of time he did all the stuff with walter and elliot he made all the fancy transfer targets he made all that kind of stuff look great without him there no one can do that so that's just how it is unfortunately i don't think people realized how much work went into bleem and rising tv we did a lot of editing a lot of creating content a lot of videos and it takes a lot of time and that's why there will still be stuff on bleem and rising tv but it isn't simple as just putting your phone at your face and recording it and not to the quality that it used to be anyway we prided ourselves on making really good content every single day and i hope that came across well 
Um, I really hope Boomer Rising TV finds its feet. I think it's trying to do that. It's trying to adapt into something new. It's just taking a little bit of hiatus, but I'm sure it will come back. But that's where it is. I don't know. I can't say if it's going to be there or not. I can't say that kind of stuff. It's not my situation. But all I can say personally is I'm not involved in it anymore um, because that's how it is. It's very complicated. Some people lost their jobs. You know, it's not easy, and it's really difficult. Uh, and I was really upset, but no one did anything wrong. That's all I want to say. And I don't want to. Um, I didn't want to just keep ignoring it, ignoring all the comments from people because they're understandably missing that channel. I'm missing it. I also didn't want to just pretend it would go away because I know it wouldn't do. Um, Alex Elliot, Walter, Paul, if you're watching this as well, I hope you don't mind me saying this, but like, um, I loved working with those guys. They're all genuinely great people, like genuine friends. And I didn't know any of them beforehand. And uh, I consider myself quite lucky to be able to do that for a while. Um, I'm good, I don't do any more, but that is life. You just move on, you pick yourself up um, and get on with it. So I know it's not the answer everyone wants to hear, but that's the situation with Bloomer Rising TV. That's um, the situation with myself personally. And I hope you understand why I've not been there, why I've not been doing stuff. And it has nothing to do with me anymore personally. I've moved on from it, not by choice, but that's just life. But yeah, I hope that makes sense. I'm sorry it's not the answer you want to hear, but I felt you deserved a little bit of an explanation. Um, anyway, guys, that's the situation with Bloomer Rising TV. I can't go into everything in too much detail because it's people's lives, you know? And it's uh, very complicated, but that's where I'm at with the channel. That's what's going on. Hopefully, Bloomer Rising TV will one day be back as strong as it ever has been. And that is the uh, overall idea. It just may take a little bit of time. I'm not involved in it anymore, though, unfortunately. Um, so, sorry about that, guys. Anyway... I'd say like the video, but I don't think you really probably going to want to. But that's the situation. I thought I owed you that all. So, see you later, guys. Just one quick final thing that I thought about um, as I start recording. When the videos come up, and they will come up on Blue Rising TV, support them. Uh, it's going to be Alex doing a lot of the fan cam stuff, and he is genuinely one of the loveliest folks I've ever met. So give him a lot of help and a lot of support. Get emailed in Blue Rising TV as well, offering to get involved with stuff, because I do think... Um, if some people want to get involved in the channel, they probably would be able to. You might be able just to submit a video or something like that. I don't know who's going to be able to go through it, but do support Blue Horizon and do get behind any videos that they get up there because they do deserve it. Alex deserves the support because um, he's a good bloke. He genuinely is a good bloke uh, and a good friend. So.